How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be working on an Ingersoll riding lawn tractor that has a Briggs & Stratton engine that runs rough once an OEM official Briggs & Stratton air filter is installed onto it. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So today in the shop, I'm working on an Ingersoll 448 hydraulic drive lawn tractor. This thing's pretty awesome, and it has an 18 horsepower Vanguard V-Twin Briggs & Stratton engine on it. Now, the customer originally stated that the engine was hard to start, and once he did get it going using carb cleaner spray, it ended up running rough. Now, when I went to pick it up, this machine would not start up, and I diagnosed right away that it was a faulty choke cable here so normally you have the cable and it goes to a z bend to the control arm there so the choke cable even though it had some tension on it up here on the dash control there the choke plate itself was not moving however the choke was kind of stuck in the three quarters closed position which could lead to the engine running rough which is one of the complaints that my customer had so instead of trying to go and just fix the Z bend on this and then, you know, use this choke lever assembly again, what I did was I just replaced the whole choke cable and lever assembly. And that's because you have to remove the battery and it's very difficult to get into the choke lever area under there. So I didn't want to go and put a new Z bend on this choke cable, have it break maybe a week later and you know, have me go over all of this work again at a later date. So like I said, the battery came out, this old choke lever assembly came out and I installed a new one. So with the new choke lever installed right there, it works and I will show you guys the choke plate fully closes and then fully opens there. Check that out. So now the engine starts up every time when you wanna start it. So with the choke on the full position, So now that the choke lever has been fixed, the engine fires up every time. Like I said though, my customer said that the engine was running rough. Now I had initially diagnosed this as a leaky needle valve in the carburetor because before, as you can see by the muffler here, totally carboned up. And usually when that happens, it means that the needle valve inside the carburetor is leaking. So I ended up removing the air filter housing assembly and tore into the top of that carburetor to expose the float and the needle valve. Now with the carburetor top removed, I ended up disconnecting the fuel line here from the outgoing side of the fuel pump. And I did a pressure test and sure enough, the needle valve slightly leaked. So what I did was polished the needle valve seat using a Q-tip and some brass polish. You guys can see a video that I did on that linked in the top right of your screen where I used some valve lapping compound and it worked the same way. Although the valve lapping compound is a little bit more coarse and I have now moved on to using some brass polish because it makes a nice smooth finish. So after I tore the carburetor apart, I put this thing back together and I was running this engine just like you saw there without the air filter on. And the engine started up and ran perfectly fine. I had the whole air box and air filter assembly off and it ran beautifully. So at that point, I decided to put everything back together and I went to fire this thing up and sure enough, the engine was running rough once again. It was billowing black smoke out of the muffler. And I figured that it was possible that the needle valve was leaking again. So once again, I disassembled the air filter assembly and took the top off of the carburetor to have a further inspection. This is where I started to get slightly puzzled because once I went back into the carburetor for a second time, everything seemed nice and clean. The needle valve pressure tested and everything seemed fine. So I once again polished the seat just to make sure that it was sealing up good and reassembled the carburetor and the air filter assembly. This is when we determined that the cause of the engine running rough was a brand new OEM Briggs & Stratton air filter that my customer had installed. So what I'm gonna do now is fire up the engine, let you guys hear how it sounds running without the air filter, and then I'm going to be installing, just placing on top and holding a little bit of pressure onto this metal plate there to let you guys hear how the engine sounds with the OEM Briggs & Stratton air filter installed. For some reason, 
This OEM Briggs & Stratton air filter causes the engine to run rough. And we believe it is because this air filter is more restrictive than the Stenz air filter that we installed after. So you guys can hear the engine's running fine. We're going to be placing the OEM Briggs air filter on top. And we're gonna let that sit for a minute. And almost immediately, you can hear the engine start to bog out it's running rough. So we're going to remove that air filter. You'll hear the engine resume to normal. And what we're going to be doing is installing the Stenz air filter onto this machine in real time. And you guys are going to hear exactly what this sounds like with the less restrictive Stenz air filter. So you guys could hear how this engine sounded without the air filter at all. It ran perfectly fine. Then we went ahead and dropped on the Briggs & Stratton air filter that my customer had installed onto this engine. As I said, you know, once I fixed the choke lever, I figured this engine would run just fine. And I never suspected that a Briggs & Stratton air filter could cause this engine to run rough. In all of my years of doing small engine work full time, which I've been doing for the past decade or so, this has only happened to me twice. And like I said, that was a brand new Briggs & Stratton air filter that my customer installed. So by removing that, the engine ran fine. That is a process of elimination. So we went ahead and installed what appears to be a less restrictive Stenz air filter in its place. And you guys heard the evidence is clear. This engine runs as it should. Now I'm no scientist, but it would be cool to take these air filters into some kind of science lab and run the paper element down there under something like an electron microscope to see the density of the woven fibers to make that paper air filter. Because I wouldn't be surprised if this Briggs & Stratton air filter had a tighter much closer weave to it than the Stenz one because the only explanation that I can come up with is this OEM Briggs & Stratton air filter is more restrictive than the Stenz one which causes less air to go into the carburetor which means when you're looking at an air fuel ratio you're getting less air which means you're getting more fuel into that engine causing this engine to run rich and disguising itself as a leaky needle valve issue and like I said after that was fixed and after we replace this filter with a Stenz one, this engine runs fine. So like I said, in all of my years of doing small engine repair, this has only happened to me twice. So this is what I would refer to as a very uncommon issue. But like I said, when you're dealing with new components, we generally tend to kind of mark them off as something that could be causing an issue with the engine because we think that it's brand new and it's perfectly fine. In this case, it could either be that the new air filter is just a bad batch of air filters, or for some reason, this engine just likes the less restrictive Stenz air filters. This air filter could be just like the fuel filters that I've reviewed in a video before where this OEM Briggs & Stratton air filter filters a smaller micron of debris through it, whereas the Stenz one doesn't filter as small of a debris, however, is less restrictive. So I know that a lot of the small engine repair YouTubers watch my channel, and I know that a lot of other DIYers, at-home do-it-yourselfers watch my channel as well. So I'd like to get a discussion started in the comments down below. If you've ever ran into this problem, drop a comment down below, and we'll see if this has ever happened to anyone else. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, but I did want to briefly mention that Ron's mower service out of Welland, Ontario. He's an old school mechanic, been in the small engine repair business for over 50 years. He did mention to me that he has seen in the past some air filters get too much humidity built up into the paper element. So there's physically too much moisture in that paper element, which will cause the restriction. However, I did have both of the Stenz and the Briggs & Stratton air filter on that table sitting out in the sun for pretty much all afternoon while I was working on that Ingersoll riding mower as well as filming this video. So I can't see the moisture or humidity issue being a cause for this engine running rough in this particular situation. 
But like I said, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever experienced this issue before, and we'll see who else has had this issue happen to them in the past. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel up for new content, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.